Kurt Vonnegut was born on November 11, 1922, in Indianapolis, Indiana. He is an American author, best known for novels like Cat's Cradle, uh, Slaughterhouse Five, Breakfast of Champions. He was an essayist and novelist in the early 1960s. Showcase um, and illustrate his, uh, the development of his uh, view on the world and his thoughts. Um, uh, his struggles uh, and uh, this specific letter that was read publicly by famous British actor Benedict Cumberbatch uh, it's a letter that he wrote to a man uh, that was burning his books that's it November 16, 1973 Dear Mr. McCarthy I'm writing to you in your capacity as chairman of the Drake School Board I am among those American writers whose books have been destroyed in the now famous furnace in your school. Certain members of your community have suggested that my work is evil. This extraordinary insulting me. The news from Drake indicates to me that books and writers are very unreal to you people. I am writing this letter to let you know how really I am. I want you to know to that publisher and have done absolutely nothing to exploit and the discussing news from Drake. We are not clapping each other on the book, crowing about all the books we will see sell because of this news. We have this line to go on television, have written no fiery letters to editorial pages have granted no lengthy interviews. We are angry and sickened and saddened. And no copies of this letter have been sent to anybody else. You now hold the only copy in your hand. It's a strictly private letter from me to people of Drake, who have done so much to damage my reputation in the eyes of their children and they and in the eyes of the world. I have raised six children, three my own and three adopted. They all turn out well. Two of them are farmers. I am a combat infantry veteran from World War II and hold a purple heart. I have learned whatever I own by hard work. I have never been arrested or sued for anything. I am so much trusted with young people and by young people that I have served on the faculties of the University of Iowa, Harvard and the City College of New York. Every year I receive at least a dozen invitations to be commencement speaker at colleges and high schools. My books are probably more widely used in schools than those of any other living American fiction writer. If you were to bother to read my books to behave as educated persons would, you would learn that they are not sexy and do not argue in any favor of wildness of any kind. They beg that people be kinder and more responsible than they are often are. It is true that some of the characters speak coarsely. That is because people speak coarsely in real life. Especially soldiers and hard-working men speak coarsely, and even our most sheltered children know that. And we all know that too, that those words really don't damage us children much. They didn't damage us when we were young. It was evil deeds and lying that hurt us. I read in the newspaper that your community is mystified by the outcry from all over the country about what you've done. Well, you have discovered that Drake is a part of American civilization and your fellow Americans can't stand it that you have behaved in such an uncivilized way. Perhaps you will learn from this that books are sacred to free men for very good reasons and that wars have been fought against nations which hate books and burn them. If you're an American, you must allow all ideas to circulate freely in your community, not merely your own. If you and your board are now determined to show that you in fact have wisdom and maturity when you exercise your powers over the education of your young, then you should acknowledge that it was a rotten lesson you taught young people in a free society when you denounced and then burned books, books you hadn't even read. You should also resolve to expose your children to all sorts of opinions and information in order that they will be better equipped to make decisions and to survive. 
Again you have insulted me and I am a good citizen and I am very real. Kurt Vonnegut